Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paste Studio on the Road. We're live right now at Beach Road Weekend on Martha's Vineyard with Ripe. Guys, it's great to see you, man. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, man, this is a delightful setting for music. Um, thank you. I know that uh, it was a, a ferry ride over here to do this, and then you guys are playing in Oak Bluffs tonight. So uh, thank you very much for making this part of your Martha's Vineyard and Beach Road Weekend weekend. And uh, we're about to hear three of your songs from across the catalog. What do you guys want to do first today? Um, we're going to start uh, right at the very end with a very new song called Noise in the Forest. This is the part where we play it, right? Yeah, yeah. If you listen closely, there's the end of a Krungman set with, you know, wafting through behind us. But <laughs> that's why we're... That's that's I, just, that's <laughs> I, 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 I cut off in the middle of a sentence, you cut off in the middle of a different song. And Noise in the Forest by Ripe. Myself, not sure if I'm coming off as playing defense. Terrified of circumstances I might regret. Here I go again. And you guess to me still this fear of the dark. So I hold to me say, like it's just noise in the forest. It's out the shadows from the trees. Might be to see, don't feel like I can mess, when you make me feel like this, I'm just noisy in the forest, noisy in the forest, oh, 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 anger begins, I push you away, that could make any sense, only as a sick as they could look like a friend But here I go again Patiently down you wait for the sun that comes after the rain Hope you know I'm grateful every time you stay Till I come around again And it gets, and it gets to, me still, to me still This fear of the dark So I hope so I to myself Like it starts Shadows for the trees Might be a warrior Might be a choosing Not to see Don't feel like I can rest When you may feel like this I'm just Noise in the forest Noise in the forest Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Loud as hell, you got a problem Well, then you better come and tell me yourself Little I'm getting loud as hell Little I'm getting loud as hell Little I'm getting loud as hell You got a problem, well, then you better come and tell me yourself Noise in the forest It's out shadows from the trees Might be wilder, yeah, yeah. Might be I'm choosing not to see Don't feel like I can rest when you may feel like this, I'm just noisy in the forest, noisy in the forest, oh, oh, oh. Getting loud as hell, you got a problem with it. You better come and tell me yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Man, we're off to a great start. Thank you guys for doing this <laughs> with you. us. Um, I was, um, I, I'm not actually looking at the comments right now because this computer is trying to stream <laughs> out at, so I can't look at the oh, internet. Okay. But the notifications are coming up. Pam, our mutual friend, is saying, wow, 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 the entire yes. time. So we know that Hi, Pam, Pam is stoked, which is good. Um, how do you feel about this vocal environment? So we, we put up, Juan put up, this yesterday to effectively cut the volume of this room in half because it's such a live space and it's half as live now because of that <laughs> it seems like it would be a fun place to sing in i don't know i'm not a vocalist but it sounds wonderful here in the room well, to me thank you very much it's definitely fun it's fun to get a sense that there is a room to play with i feel like once you start getting tails to things like i don't know it's nice to be able to work with a space that's kind of helping you out and also find ways to make it work for you uh we recently played in i think it's called the essex peabody museum and we were in like a hundred year old room with a crazy reverb for everything. And uh, I don't know if anyone understood a single word I was saying, but it sounded really nice. Yeah, where your vocal is more like any other instrument in the band as opposed to a, a thing that's communicating words. Right? Yeah, I think that's kind of where it becomes and it's fun to be that sometimes. Yeah. They can look the words up on the lyric sheet afterwards. Yeah, yeah. That's always uh, for me. I apologize to our audience. I don't know how interesting it is to our audience that I'm about to tell our audience that I don't, <laughs> it takes me like 12 listenings to a song before I hear the first word at all. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> listening to other mechanics of the song, the instrumental things, and then finally the lyrics eventually sink in. And I just, I, I hope that the lyrics are in line with how much I liked the song up until that point. And that's not always the case, man. Sometimes I listen to them. It's like, oh dude, this, this sucks. You know? <laughs> More often than not, it reinforces. Uh, that's not his lyrics that you're talking about. Yeah, no, hell no. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, no, he hasn't listened to my stuff 12 times yet. He doesn't, he doesn't know a word. <laughs> no, that's not true, man. I do. I am a fan of your band, and I'm very man, happy thank you, you guys very much. are here. I was entirely meant as a joke. You know, it's serious and endearing. Thank you very much, dude. <laughs> yeah. You were the one that said that my uh, what was the, the, my uh, intensity level never gets above a four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Which was perfect, man. And we, um, what, what is the vibe tonight? So you guys are in Oak Bluffs tonight, like as soon as, as, soon as we wrap here. Yeah, uh, we have to head to a sound check that's already underway. Uh, they have two sort of inflatable <laughs> dolls shaped like us that are currently occupying our spots on stage. It's a whole thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're very excited to play tonight. These are two shows in the midst of very personal life whirlwinds for most of the members of the band. And so uh, we're very excited to get to blow off some steam. And uh, uh, someone tells me they're gonna be some pretty high energy shows, um, or at least one high energy show. And then tomorrow we may be all in stretchers. We'll have to figure that out. <laughs> now that Lucy Dacus has been on stage on a couch, the option's always out there, you know? <laughs> nice, man. Well, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be there in the audience tonight. Um, and with no further ado, I know you guys have to get on that shuttle and get over there. What do you, got, what do you feel like doing second today? Uh, some further ado as we introduce this next song. This next song is called First Time Feeling. Thanks for having us, y'all. <laughs> Two arms, two joints, too high to drive. That's all right I let my mind kick around the block A couple of times, two weeks, too good to say goodbye There's no time There's something that I need to tell you I knew I love you Hell, I said I love you too Oh, I felt less for I love you too, and I feel this for you. It took a little while to see it, though no, it's only two. This is the first time feeling that there's nobody else but you. Games get so easy, losing self is true. Damn, it's just like the first time feeling there's nobody else but you. I try my best to simplify, to justify the way that I'm gonna do my best to get you off of my mind. Drive through the desert overnight to kill some time. There's something that I need to tell you. I knew I loved you, and I said I love you too. See, yeah. Oh, it's only two. This is the 
is the first time feeling that there's nobody else but you. Who gives get so easy? Losing self is true. Damn, it's just like the first time feeling there's nobody else but you. A little while to see yeah. oh, what you wanted to. Yeah, it's just like the first time feeling there's nobody else but you. It took a little while to see. No, it's you wanted to This is the first I feel That there's nobody else for you Yeah, I knew I love you Hell, I said I love you To all the less of you oh, oh. I knew I love you Hell, I said I love you To all the less of you There's nobody else but the kids get so easy. Losing himself is true. Damn, it's just like the first time feeling. There's nobody else but you. Little out of sea, yeah. No one wanted to. Damn, it's just like the first time feeling. There's nobody else but you. Little out of sea, yeah. Oh, what you want it to Take them, it's just like the first time feeling There's nobody else but you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Man, your voice, that guitar, it sounds lovely in this environment I really yeah. appreciate it Yeah, I like it um, we, so you alluded to it a little bit earlier. You said this is a time of, uh, you didn't say turmoil, but like a whirlwind time where yeah. there's a lot going on. You're relocating from a place that you've got deep roots um, and moving out to the West Coast. I wonder if, uh, is there any sense that the songs that you're writing right now amidst all the, the personal um, changes that are happening that have worked its way into your music that have been reflected in the <laughs> stuff that's coming out of your brain musically? Um, sure, I think as life gets chaotic, the music gets a bit more chaotic, and the you know content of the songs tends to be more about working through what we're going through. But I also think that our music has been made in so many different iterations that it's kind of nice for things to change because it means that there's new angles introduced. And a lot of why we're moving out in the first place is to be closer to a lot of musical collaborators and like kind of more in the center of where a lot of our art has been coming from, anyways. So I think it's about like moving towards a more constant process. Uh, and yeah, I'm very excited for it. Uh, in terms of exactly how, I haven't done the second thing yet, so yeah. uh, I more just look at the fact that we've definitely written a bunch of different types of songs while being in Boston for so long. Uh, so I, I hope that that variety continues. You know, it would be weird if we just became like just a trip hop band after we moved to LA. <laughs> it's all of a sudden. I know we were yeah. a bunch of things before, but now we're like massive, massive attack wannabes, and that's all we got, you know? <laughs> Massive, 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 attack. massive yeah. attack. That's our band name, actually. After this, <laughs> this is the last session is ripe from here on out. MMA. Yes, I concur. That would be weird if all of a sudden it was just trip hop, all right? trip hop, all yeah. the time. We have shown no signs of trip hop in our catalog, <laughs> not one yet. Um, who are some of those artists that uh, that have compelled you to to move that way? That you're gravitating towards that you that you collaborate with? Is that? I mean, can we talk publicly about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the people that were involved in this new batch of music that we're in the middle of putting out, Noah Conrad and Ryan Linville, uh, please keep working with us. We love you. Um, you know, our Josh Bach, who played drum in the band for a long time, is still a musical collaborator that's out there. Um, and also a bunch of people that we've just started working with who I don't want to say their names aloud because we don't even know where it's going. Um, but I think it's just the realization that there are so many people that we get excited to work with out there that to be able to try that stuff out and sort of experiment in that space without booking round trip flights and like carving out time in a different life that we're in the middle of living uh, has just started to feel like the move. Good. And we'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, please, man. We've done, we did one of these session series out at the hotel cafe. I don't know how frequently we're going to be in Los Angeles, but sometimes, I mean, now that we don't have a permanent home, you know, we've, last time we hosted you was at Club Passim and we're just going to keep <laughs> yeah. on hopping around. So please do let us know in person next time we see you. Absolutely. I look forward to it. We'll have notes from the field. Yeah, indeed. Man, uh, thank you again for being here. There's still one more song coming up. What do you guys want to do third today? Uh, we're going to do a song that came out in April, which is so far away right now, um, called Settling. Let me put this can down. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Water. 
just water out the tap, really saving our, our keisters out here in the Martha's Vineyard sun. Thanks, water. <laughs> Told to watch your tone, yeah, you get angry. Hold your breath while you count down and not be angry. Easier to bite your tongue. Every time that you behave, every time you think it's safe. Thank you again so much for doing it. And to Oak Bluffs, it is. You will go to Oak Bluffs now. We're going to break down some of this stuff, and then we're going to go uh, to Oak Bluffs. And we're we'll see, see you there. Play. We'll be the guys that look suspiciously like us. Yes, 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 indeed, man. Thank you again uh, so much. We'll see you in Los Angeles. We'll see you somewhere yeah. cool next. I don't know exactly where. but I mean, I would, I would keep class qualify this as cool classify this as cool i don't know if i'm the judge but this is a cool spot to see you guys and we're two for two it is we hang out at cool <laughs> spots that's just yeah. you know <laughs> we're ripe and this is paste and we'll see you at the next cool spot yeah. <laughs> that's it we did it yeah. nice hell yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs>